Hello and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to have custom player names in your Game Maker game. You can make custom player names for an RPG series or whatever you can think of. So, we don't need any objects for this except a control object. So what are resources to create object? Let's call it OBJ underscore name C for name control. Let's add a game start event. So add event, other, game start. So when the game starts, it'll ask us for our name. Control, execute code. Now this code is in the description, so please don't mess it up. You can copy it if you want, so don't mess it up, please. Global dot name equals get underscore string. So get under your underscore string. Parentheses, quotation marks. It'll, so when the game starts, it'll ask us, what is your name? Ask us, what is your name? Comma, hold on. Then in the little message box that's available, in the little box that's available to type in, it'll say, please enter your name here. So go about name equals get string. What is your name? So it'll say in the box, it'll say what is your name. And in the box where you actually type, it'll say please enter your name here. And then you can just replace that with the actual name. And then after that, you can say show underscore message. Welcome to the new we try this. This is my engine. You can change it if you want. Also, put welcome to the game. For anyone to do. Welcome to the game. Quotation marks. Now to add on to it, we'll do plus. Global dot name. So I'll add the string on after it. Hold on, is that how you do it? Yeah, that's how you do it. Put a quotation mark. I mean, that. And then, that's how you create a customized player name. Whenever you want to use the actual player name in a line of code or something, an actual show message, this is how you would do it. You would um, type the first type whatever you're going to type in quotation marks. So it'll start quotation marks. Then the last, then at the end you would put an end quotation mark and plus global dot name. That's how you would add on to it. That's how you would add global dot name to the phrase. You could cut into the middle of it and do whatever. And just for fun, here's an extra code, just in case you need, just in case. It's just for fun code. Well, I'm just copy and paste it. Okay, so in the draw event I have, control, execute code. You can put this code in it. You can customize it if you want. If string underscore length global dot name is greater than 3 and less than 12, draw text global dot name. So it'll draw your the player's name if it's less than 3 or greater if the length of global dot name is less than th is greater than three characters or less than twelve characters. So it has to be a minimum. So you can customize it if you want. You can put it in the game start event also and tell it that if the string isn't large enough. This is just something extra I just made up out of nowhere. So yeah. This is something extra. So let me show you what it looks like. Hold on. And so, before the game even started, i just show you guys this. It says, what is your name? And please enter your name here. So I'll put, we try this. Uh -huh. I'll try this. Okay. Welcome to the game. Retry this. Oh, I, I should have put a space between the quotation mark to avoid that. My mistake. I didn't put a space between it. Okay, it's welcome to the game. Retry this. And in my character select screen, it says we tried this at the top of the screen. Shows the player name. Well, um, this has been an original. We try this production. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, to fix that little bug with the name being too close, just put a space right here. And then that's it. Okay, goodbye.